Greetings, General. Over the next few minutes, you are going to learn how to play World of Tanks Generals, a strategic card game. Here, you will meet your rival head-on, with the objective of destroying his or her HQ. But beware! You will have only 15 minutes to achieve this objective. The focal element of the game is the HQ. Your HQ is your most important card. It's situated in the left lower corner of the battlefield. Your rival's HQ is located in the opposite corner. To deploy a card, you must spend resources. The amount of resources required to deploy a particular card is shown in its upper left corner. Resources are gained at the end of each turn. During the first turn, you have the amount of resources equal to your HQ's resource growth. If your HQ's resource growth is 6, that means you can deploy cards costing 6 points. At the end of each turn, the amount of resources is reset. To increase your resource growth, deploy a card with a number in its upper right corner. This number shows the amount of additional resources that card will bring you at the start of each subsequent turn. Not all cards bring you additional resources, though. Be attentive. You'll have four types of cards in the game. HQs, Units, Orders, and Squads. Your main fighting power on the battlefield is provided by your units. You can deploy your units only within three squares of your HQ, the area known as your bridgehead. If all the squares of the bridgehead are occupied by your units or enemy units, you can't deploy a card there. All units can move on the battlefield. Movement is normally one square per turn, vertically or horizontally. There are exceptions. I'll tell you about them later. Units can attack. They can also counterattack, meaning an attack in response to an attack by the enemy. The amount of damage dealt by a given unit, its firepower, is shown in the left lower corner. The number under that is the unit's HP. Units are divided into five classes. Light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, tank destroyers, and artillery. SPGs. Each class has its peculiarities. Light tanks marked with a solid diamond can move quickly on the battlefield, two squares per turn vertically or horizontally. Thus you can continue moving after they are deployed into the bridgehead, making room for other cards. You can approach the enemy, attack, and fall back. Medium tanks marked with a single striped diamond combine good firepower and mobility. They can move one square per turn in any direction, including diagonally. Heavy tanks, marked with a double-striped diamond, cannot counterattack if they have attacked during that turn. This drawback is balanced by their high HP and firepower. Tank destroyers, marked with a triangle, always fire first. If the damage they deal is enough to destroy the target unit, the enemy unit is destroyed before it can counterattack. SPGs are marked with a square. They can attack any enemy unit adjacent to any of your units, anywhere on the battlefield. And they can also attack the enemy HQ. You don't even need one of your units to be adjacent to it. Units attacked by an SPG cannot counterattack. The SPG itself cannot counterattack either. Order cards are special action cards marked with an exclamation point. Deploying one of these cards grants you an advantage that may last one or several turns. But after the order is deployed, it immediately goes to casualties, so you can't play it again. The most vivid example of an order is the Crush card. With its help, you can deal 5 damage points to the enemy HQ. Squad cards are the infantry you call to help your HQ. They can be Assault and Defensive. Assault squads increase the HQ's firepower, and defensive squads partially absorb damage when your HQ is attacked. So General, are you ready for battle? Make your first move right now.